What's up guys, it's Salvaje. So I'm bringing you guys another interceptor guide. This is the number one skill every interceptor needs to learn. I know I've made a lot of interceptor guides, okay? But don't worry guys, I am working on some storm guides as well as some colossus guides. I just like to focus a lot on quality and that means that I have to be spending a lot of time playing the game, actually testing out the things that I'm going to be teaching to see if they're actually valid or not. But after about like almost a hundred hours with the interceptor i absolutely believe this is a skill everyone needs to learn and that skill is the melee jump let me give you guys a quick tip something that i like to do as i'm fighting uh with the interceptor as i'm going to be pushing a target i like to jump dash and then go for a melee jump right and as you guys can see that's going to be giving us a pretty decent amount of distance right uh so that's something that i absolutely recommend that you guys do uh, and one of the reasons why you absolutely need to master the melee jump because a lot of interceptors They don't really do melee jumps, right? They just do regular jumps But what some interceptors might not know is that you're going to get a little bit of a boost when it comes down to your movement If you go for melee jumps, so let me just teach you guys uh, What I mean we're gonna get about you know this far with uh, you know dash and a jump and then we are going to get about this far with a dash and a melee jump I mean as you guys can see the distance is pretty noticeable okay if you want to traverse the map faster if you want to go from one target to the next faster you need to learn how to melee jump all right the dash melee jump combination just gives you a lot of momentum that you absolutely need in Grandmaster 2 and above to stay alive and you guys are going to be seeing a lot of that when it comes down to the combat analysis Last but not least, and the last tip that I want to share with you guys when it comes down to the melee jump, just in case you guys are not interested on the gameplay analysis, is you need to make sure that you also use melee jump to like switch the directions of where you want to go. I use melee jump basically all the time when I'm using my interceptor because of this exact reason. You see, if I dash and then I jump to the side, yeah, you know, I'm going to be able to get some pretty decent momentum and I'm going to be able to look around just fine. But in my opinion, and from my 100 hours or so with the Interceptor, I have noticed that it is better to melee and then sort of use your jump, right? Because when you do a melee jump, you sort of have more control over what you can look at and what target it is that you're going to go to. And my last, last tip, I actually completely forgot about this tip. My last tip is as you are in combat with the Interceptor and you're about to use the melee jump technique to actually move from one target to the next, you need to be paying attention to this compass. The compass that we have up top that says Northeast. So as I move around in the map, I like to use my melee jumps and I want to see where the red targets are at, right? So let's say that I take out these guys. I'm actually going to be doing my melee jumps. And as I'm doing my melee jumps, I'm looking at my uh, mini map or uh, compass thingy. And I'm seeing where the red targets are going to be at. And of course, I'm going to get to those red targets as fast as possible. So absolutely make sure that you learn the melee jump technique with the interceptor. I covered it on my advanced guide with the interceptor as well as my basics guide with the interceptor. And with all of that said, we got a random loading screen, I don't know why. But with all of that said, let's now jump into the combat analysis and gameplay examples on how I go about maximizing the melee jump and how you guys can go about maximizing the melee jump as well. Let's take a look at this gameplay scenario first. Uh, this one takes a look at how we're going to be fixing some of our traversal mistakes with the melee jump, as well as, of course, how we can easily use our melee jumps to, of course, go from one enemy to the next. So right here, I'm going to be doing a six dash technique, but I realize, oh shit, the objective is actually behind me. So after my three dashes, I'm going to correct my movement and positioning by, of course, doing two melee jumps. What I should have done here is actually go for a three dash technique. In other words, dash three times, go for two melee jumps, but it's okay, I don't do it. I'm going to be doing two melee jumps to close the distance between these enemies. And then I'm, of course, going to land my Tempest Strike. So in that situation, I was able to use my melee jump to correct my mistakes when it came down to traversal and also to close the distance between our enemies. And right here, I want a little bit more control when it comes down to my jump. So I'm going to do a melee jump over this guy like that. I can freeze him with my aura and, of course, also put him on a, at a really uh, vulnerable position. But I actually uh, messed up uh, right there a little bit. So let's move on forward to another gameplay example. 
So at the higher levels of play, using your melee jump for positioning and survivability is key and these gameplay examples are going to show you guys how to do just that. I see that there are two enemies right here, I'm going to be taking them out, I then want to reposition myself so I'm going to be using my melee jump so that I can have a higher view of the area and I can see what are the enemies that I'm going to go after. I don't know if there's way too many enemies behind me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going around and as I'm going around I'm paying attention to the minimap to see if there are any isolated targets and guess what I find I find an isolated target that's why the melee jump is really important guys because that momentum that it gives you like I said at the beginning of the video is really really good to cover the map very quickly but of course also go uh, from one weak target to a high priority target like for example this elementalist right here in this example, I had no idea what the hell was going on. So I'm going to be using my melee jumps to get a better view of you know what's around me, but also to of course position myself into an area where I'm also safe and I don't really have a lot of enemies around me. Uh, right here, I want to take out these two spiders, so I'm going to be taking them out. And by the way, I did an in-depth uh, melee build uh, video on this build that I'm using right now. I'm going to link it in the description below. But I'm going to take out these elite spiders, right? And then I'm going to be using my melee jumps. And as I'm melee jumping, I am going to be looking at my radar to see where the other enemies are at. I see that they're here with my other interceptor. So I'm, of course, going to finish off these two spiders and take them out. Okay, one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of interceptor melee players make is that sometimes they don't know when to pull out. All right? They're enjoying themselves too much, you know, completely obliterating their targets. And they don't know how to use their movement for survivability. Well... This next section of the gameplay examples is going to teach you just that. I see that I lose my shield here, so what am I going to do? That's right, I'm going to be using my dashes and my melee jump so that I can get a better view of the situation and I can see where I can position myself to, of course, not get completely murdered. I see that there are these enemies over here as well. I'm going to take them out. I see that I'm weak. What am I going to do? I'm going to be using my dash and again my melee jump to get myself into a safe area. And all in all guys, when you have mastered the melee jump with the interceptor, you know how to use it offensively and defensively, you're basically going to be a really, really good interceptor, which is why I titled this video the number one skill that interceptors need to learn. When you maximize melee jumping with the interceptor, this is what your gameplay could look like. I mean, I know I still needed some work on the interceptor, I can still improve, but this is a perfect example of maximizing melee jump for offensive as well as defensive capabilities. I see that I have no idea how many enemies are around me, so I'm going to be using my melee jump to sort of give myself an idea of how many enemies are around. I'm going to throw down my absolute zero. I'm going to use my movement to get to these targets. And as you guys can see, there's a lot of enemies around me, right? So I'm going to be constantly dashing out, but I'm also going to be going in the offensive. I'm going to be using my melee jumps to get out of the situation, but also get back in the situation. And by the time I get back, I also have my cooldown. So not only am I able to be effective and aggressive, but I'm also able to keep my survivability. And the reason for that is, is because again, I'm maximizing my melee jumps. Earlier, as you guys saw as well, a mine was about to hit me and I was able to dash at the last second and of course use my melee jumps to basically waste that mine's potential and of course also stay alive and be aggressive. I'm going to take out all of these guys right here because that's just how much of a badass I am with the interceptor. But again, there's going to be a lot of enemies around me, right? I also want a general idea of what's happening. So I'm going to be dashing out and then I'm going to be using my melee jump to of course get back in. Again, using my melee jump for offensive maneuvers, but also defensive maneuvers. You want to use the melee jump to be aggressive, but you also want to use the melee jump to stay alive. And when you're able to maximize those two things, you're going to be one of the greatest interceptors in the Anthem universe. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to drop it a like. Feel free to subscribe for more quality Anthem videos, as well as, of course, some other variety that I have right here on the channel. See you guys in the next one, and peace out.